Hello everybody, this is Chris Swear's Locomotion. I'm about to show you, and it's a system I built on Bottleneck Blues, and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. And my railway starts from up here, working its way up to these areas. There are branches everywhere. Here is this slight corridor where all the railroads come together. And where I will go to, there is a geographical version. As you can see, that is the narrow path between the hills. Now I'll go back to the company selection and it goes all the way down here branches in this area and down here is a recently made location as you can see it's still under construction I don't have any special mods for the station so I just deal with what I can use here is a chemical train headed to its station, which will take it all the way down here. Here's one on the leaving. These two trains are waiting to fill with chemicals. I've installed some of the mods of the General Motors works. And here comes that one train we were following earlier. A few of my trains are still breaking down. There's the chemical industry. And yes, I do have other companies still competing against me. But I set the date for them to come along later so then I wouldn't have to worry about competition to finding my cool road track. Here is an industry of which I built. Here's a train that's been hauling grains lately, preparing to leave as a other train takes its place. This is a Conrail train. Uh, the specs themselves I'm not really sure of. I don't feel like checking it at the moment. It's pretty fast though. How I uh, get the trains to get onto the main line is I have the train tracks that are not going to go to the train main line go underground and pop out over here like this one over here in the corner. I have it go underground so it, when it comes out of the ground it'll go simply right into the main line. And same with the other line it goes back underground. As you see here, get rid of that. Um, the reason I this one actually does this one right here doesn't need to go underground, but it did anyway because I didn't really feel like having to go through a wall over it. And besides the trains, it'll be empty, so when they come to the stop here, it won't take much horsepower to get them to go, get the momentum going and such. Here's a oil train, 
one of the last oil reserves that's actually up this main line. Um, for all those who do play this scenario, you would know that there are two or three industries already back here in this area near Foxworth. But all the other industries have run out of oil and closed down. And this is the last original one. But it may be closing down soon anyway because um, if you look at the performance, it's kind of, you know, you can't really see it on this camera, I'm sorry.